Hello there. Often I have hobby calls with my buds, and they're usually found by all participants to be valuable as a means to drive hobby hustle. It certainly holds true for me, and I thought the subscribers of my channel may feel similarly. So what follows is for you to check out. But, unfortunately, the audio balance is a little bit off for the majority of this call. Regardless, if you find this is something you would like to see more of, let me know in the comments, and I'll look to formalize things going forward. Specifically these Thunderkin. Repainting your Thunderkin? Or... I, I, had, uh, I had a unit painted already. You're going for that yellow, eh? For I yellow sure color. am. It'd be nice to have a, a yellow army on the table. You, know, you never see it. Yeah. That's because yellow is wildly considered the worst color. And that's uh, why I sure, want to try it. I'm pretty sure it's a yeah. racist. It's a racist thing. So, it's the, the, the so lame and yellows. Eh? Too many yellows. No. You can. That's a quote. No yellows. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have any yellows in our group. No. Oh, man. No. Maybe we should uh, play Gundam or something. What? Oh, that's terrible. You took it too far. You said the G. Yeah? I don't know, what are, you, what are you working on? Army, Tavish? I'm working on a burrito right now. Oh, a, bur a burrito. Fine, describe it to me. I need to live vicariously for you. It's a very sad breakfast burrito. Oh, never mind. Take it back. You just woke up? No. No. <laughs> Why are you eating breakfast? Because I live by my own rules. Rules of nature. Don't tell them what to do. Yeah. So how about the natural rules? What's the skill? Oh yeah, they, you know? they look they look pretty pretty hot. Pretty sick. So Invulnerable saves across the board on your boys. Oh, yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, buddy. Someone's going to be upset about that. I just, I don't even know if it's, like, overpowered. I just, it's so distasteful to me. Ugh. I just, I it's could stopped. feel your eyes rolling from all the way over here during the eclipse. Honestly, <laughs> like, huh. honestly, even, like, just the same mechanic, but just in the form of a feel-no-pain would have just been better like even if it was just they have a five up feel no pain i don't i don't i don't think they should have a feel no pain because then you have the potential of them saving against mortals um yeah but why do why do guys who have no fucking armor have involved saves it, at least the feel no so pain once feels like they're shrugging off pain you know some damage yeah i mean we can go left or right with the the lore quandaries of this, but mechanically, it is a more sensible uh, rule this than is a, This is a what the 40k chat. It does nothing to do with mechanics. Get That's true. Listen, speak, all right? I'm, I'm just waiting for a, like a thematic orc list uh, when this rolls around. Yeah. <laughs> So I made my thematic orc list. I had to change some of the core mechanics of the game and of the faction, but <laughs> here it goes. I lost every game. It didn't function. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. Why am I losing all the games? I follow this guy's this guy's list to the T. I bought all the models. Oh, oh how do you know? I've only had good comments from people who have built the list. Actually, <laughs> I, I can't say for why that is. So I cannot list. say. Cannot disclose. Um, uh, yeah, the the invul save is. I honestly should have probably just been a six. Six would have been a little because then uh, remember when um, that one faction of orcs, the the blue ones, where the death skulls, yep. they had an invul save. Uh, no, didn't the blue like, ones? Didn't the blue ones? Uh, what, one of them the had a thing. One of one of them had an inball and did something else. I, I want to yeah, say it was like OC. It was, it was death skulls. It was objective secured. 
re-rolls like salamanders. Maybe. Uh, oh man. And it was. Oh, it had it all. It was also the invulnerable save. It was a wild eighth edition time when you had like five bullet points per sub faction. Yeah, you were you were a real contender faction when you had three bullet points. Oh yeah. Remember when the Votan one? It was like add extra range, do more damage, <laughs> do more AP. Oh, and also your entire army gets a four up invul. <laughs> We had a bad one too. It was like, what? Oh, what yeah, kind of, yeah, something what kind to do with scumbag? casting damage. What kind of scumbag would play that army? Anybody know? Just oh. just a cool guy who likes little dudes, you know? Mm-hmm. I yeah, know. I like I like the way they look. It has nothing to do with their two up <laughs> or up army wide. Plus one well, to wound. Well, they don't do that anymore, so you can't call me scumbag, okay? Hurts my feelings. When I get a one grudging on you, I hit you for free. And when I get a two grudging, I hit you, I wound you for free. And if I get three grudgings on you, you just die. Yeah, the three, the three grudging, that was a, that was a great time. Three. I was like, I like these shorthands for the record. Yeah, like I miss, I have so many three grudges that are unusable now. I don't even know what to do with them. But um, yeah, I, I like it. I like the I, I like that they have that um, three inch range for like fighting. Is that is that what it was? Like three inch. Yeah, uh, basically it was a three inch engagement range, so you can get. Yeah, that, that's sick. That's that's the first time they've done something like that, right? Yeah, I thought it was. I like rules like that. With really yeah. thematic. But it is cool, I, and it is it is unique utility, and it works. Well, I, trying to it, detachment too, right? it makes sense. I, I like, yeah, I like that it allows what the flavor of that detachment to function because it'd be like, oh, you get all these great things for boys, but you can never get them all into combat, you know? Listen, anything to put like more models on the table because, like, currently it's like really heavy on tanks and like hyper elite stuff. I think having more models on the board is just like a nice. Uh, like juxtaposed to it. I agree. I think you want more incentive, more list variety, right? Encouragement. Yeah. Encouraged up there. Still well, and boys aren't boys aren't like crazy good either. So. No, like everybody goes with the the snagos, right? Like they're just like the overall better choice. Just are they? Them. Yeah, just uh, they have better rules for like. Um, damage and just for holding objectives. All the guys I play have been running knobs. Well, knobs are not a not a troop though, right? Like like they'll still run snagas. At least what I've observed, like they're still going to have one to two units. But the the thing about the game now is you're not incentivized to bring troops at all unless your troops happen to be good. What do you mean? OC two, bro. Yeah, I don't think that matters when you just shoot them off the table. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, I speak from experience. This is definitely. Are you a, sure? I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost like ninety percent sure that like, oh, as long as you so kill them off the table, it doesn't matter if you have OC a billion. So you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, and I guess the the dreadnought mob, finally, our one player in our play group. Can stop creaming his pants about running crot tanks and <laughs> pants. That is a good win for the for him. Yeah, because that's never existed. Like just the strict, dread walk. Well, just strict rules for for all the walkers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least for orcs, from from what I remember, I may be misremembering something the, in like six. The rules edition. are. The rules are really. Good to one to four, sustained or lethal. Sick. Or, or just mm-hmm. pick, pick and take the hazardous. Who gives a shit? Is it worth? Oh, yeah, true. Right. Yeah, like in the situation where it's like, I need this, I need this so bad, or it's the wog turn, right? Like wog, wog helps with, uh, um, like pushing more damage. Well, we don't know what the wog has changed to, but like current wog is like the push turn, like the tempo turn. So like. If it's like a make or break situation, you're like, all right, I'm picking the best one for this situation for that turn. I don't give a fuck if I lose the whole unit uh, from hazardous. Like, you don't care at that point. 
Yeah, because this is your go turn, basically. Yeah, if you can't, if you can't like clear what you need to, then now um, I will say this: I am a little worried about it because uh, I guess Gazgul got um, previewed, and his AP didn't change, and he's like the good AP, and he's not even really that good of AP. Oh, I didn't so, see his preview. Uh, it, it's um, on like a Reddit, like a Reddit post with uh, Trajan. What about a leaky leak? Yeah. Yeah. So he's still pretty much the same, except his uh, unit ability is like a lot better. Um, it's crits on fives and sixes now for his unit. Um, but Makari still does the same thing. Uh, the lethal aura. Yeah, the lethal aura, and he still adds plus one to hit and wound for his unit. Um, but his his AP is AP three on on the big attack. Still four damage. Still strength fourteen. It's really um, good. It is good, mm -hmm. but he's like a premium. You'd think he'd be like four, like AP four. He's he, the claw is yeah. the size of a Space Marine captain for Christ's sake. Yeah, like, but dude, dreadnoughts don't even have AP four. They're AP two. I I'm, a, like I'm to aware. Point out, named characters usually are the exception in that regard. And uh, so the, the problem. Hold on. Before anything, the problem with that though is that orcs currently have a real bad time because they. All are low AP. Like yeah, that's all are... uh... <laughs> the only the only exception is World Eaters. The they're the only one that has troops with AP more than two. When there's I, no I, there's... I point to you, Howling Banshee is a good sir. Beware. Oh, they, they don't have AP three. Yeah. Beware. They they consistently kill everything they touch. Oh, sorry, my <laughs> sorry, my bad. In my game against them, they must have only touched themselves. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. But um, okay. outside of World Eaters, you're right. But I traditionally look at orcs as a melee army with shooting support. So I don't expect them to be AP4, AP5. But, like, honestly, when I look at, like, Power Claws, like, would it be out of the question to be AP3? I, listen, I don't disagree with you, but I'm not even remotely surprised because nothing else has it. Yeah. Um, I, and I would like I would to be, see... I would be more shocked if they're like, oh, hey, we realized Melee was neutered and uh, we've adjusted it. Nope. The, these books were written so long ago. Like, yeah. You're going to see Max like on troops, like, like with World Eaters being an exception, AP2 tops. Yeah. Which it, it's too bad because like but um, I do like I agree to play Tyranids is is a melee force and they have some of the worst AP. Like I have like my big characters have like AP one and two depending on what they are. Yeah, isn't it like isn't the line sweep AP one? <laughs> yeah, we should put that in. <laughs> <laughs> but what's his strike though? At least he's got the three, right? Tell me. I'm pretty sure. It's been a little, it's been a little bit. I can check. I'm gonna sweep you. AP one plus two attacks. <laughs> it's so bad. Like Rawr. Oh in a world where like most armies have like an AP reduction type of ability. Not all of them, but most of them. Especially the power armor ones. But like Votan has it. Uh I'm just like low AP is just a death sentence. Doesn't what Votan do just have it for free? Like everybody gets it. No, or was that last that, edition? That was last edition. <laughs> yeah, that's garbage. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. They took away armor of contempt from everybody, except for this new army we're trying to sell. <laughs> yeah. Hook, line, and sinker, baby. I got in. I got in. And uh, let's give their vehicles a two up, four up. <laughs> <laughs> He's not salty. He's not oh, I, I like. You're just bringing back why I don't miss miss that at all. You haven't even played against new Votan. They stink. It's because so. nobody plays them. <laughs> well, I play them. There's one guy in the in the the Ontario League in our bracket who's playing them, but I, I did not get paired against them. I I think he got paired against Iron Storm <laughs> Dark Angels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's in for a, he's in for a good 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 round. <laughs> Depending on what he has, I mean, Votan have a lot of anti-tank tools, so. But I, uh, I don't remember his list off the top of my head. I got like uh, great. I want to, I want to 
play against Tau because all their suits are vehicles and the Thunderkin have anti two vehicle guns. Jesus. Are those the Terminator guys? Nah, no, they're like the um, they're like the Centurion guys, like the they're in the big exosuits. And by big, I mean not that big. Yeah, big for a dwarf. Yeah, they they become man size. Oh. But yeah, their their gun is uh, D six shot blast, strength five, AP two. I want to say, but it might be AP one and two damage, anti vehicle two plus. Yeah, what big unit? Like grab, Sorry, what was? What was? What is, they're they're a grab gun. Yeah. What well, uh, what'd you say? Army? What, what? There's no AP then? I think there's AP one or two. I, I can't remember. It's one or the other. You you scare me not. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your land raider is taking uh, probably still two ups because everything gets better. <laughs> yeah, you do love a good land raider. Yeah. But don't... D6, D6 shots per guy, you know, you're going to fail a couple here and there and then you might die. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking for a good picture of the the Judicar's little time clock. I'm regretting leaving it on there. I should have switched it. <laughs> well, speaking of pictures, um, snap a quick thing of your workspace, a quick photo of your workspace, and I'll I'll throw it up there in the editing. It's oh. so me- it's so messy. Oh, it's okay, man. Show them who you really are. <laughs> yeah. Be a man. <laughs> the illusion. Man, this this blue paint is caked on so bad. Oh, right. yeah. Remind me after my phone's plugged in. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I, my hands are full of uh, simple green, so remind me after too. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll see if it happens. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. I'm not either. I mean, you're your embarrassed. Desk is you kind of clean for one. I know this. There might be a couple of uh, spiders scurrying around if people can spot them. Uh, yeah, your house is full of spiders. What's that about, man? What's that about? I don't know. Some some found their way in and then turned it into their house. Not my house anymore. I must have done something wrong. Like I must have done something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you mean a. I did something to, to cause this? Like you angered yeah. an old lady and she cursed you or something. I feel like I angered an old god, like an old spider god. Like, like Did they ever like... One too yeah. many. And they're not little, that's the other problem. They're like... Fairly big. Yeah, uh, yeah. Forget, forget about that. No thanks. Yeah. Ooh, that might be too loud. That's the old paint shape. So loud. Yeah, that, is, that is industrial stress. Are you fucking prospecting for gold? What is that? That's the old. Uh, that's the old uh, vortex paint shaker. Okay. Well, you know what else is a good paint shaker? Your own fucking strength. Oh yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Give it the times. Oh my god. You're older. Than Nobody me. shakes their own pain anymore, Matt. You're old. You're old. <laughs> All the kids are doing it. Yo, I know. I see. It broke, man. I think I, I think I dropped it too many times. Unfortunately. What? <laughs> Why did you drop it? Oh, it's like yeah. a thing that's just yeah, on your desk. Well, it's an accident. I just have a very like my workspace was was too cramped and it wasn't sitting properly and I consistently the the cord only reaches so far and I consistently drop it off the table oh, yeah. when I'm moving something else. Man, uh, so that's what it was. I got it on the cheap. So I like the life of a of a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, those are, those just, are my uh, tragic stories. Just yeah. put out a plea to some paint shaker company. <laughs> and then yeah. you'll get them that YouTube life where they just send you free shit in the mail. Yeah, hell yeah. Maybe, maybe one day. I I see in like all these YouTubers with their new um, was it the Drukari grotesque, oh. and it's like nobody else can get them because there's like such a limited quality. I'm like, what a great, great advertisement. Yeah. Did you end up getting the kill team, Tavish? No. No, oh, I sold out. Surprise, surprise. Uh, yeah, the apparently the quantities on it were dog shit. 
That's terrible. At uh, so I I hit up uh, the local store there to start trying to support him, and I also figured because there's no demand, even if he only has allocated one or two copies, he might get one. So I I I tried. I haven't heard. He like he wasn't really aware that like um, allocations even existed because he hasn't had people um, mm-hmm. hitting him up for um, you know more sought after items. But I did tell him. I said, "Listen, uh, apparently the allocations on this are really tight." I said, "You know, it's up to you." But I said. I guarantee, however, if you get, like, if they allocate you four and you get four, I, you will sell them. Yeah. I, even if you, like, people will come out of town to come to us to grab it. Like, it, yeah. it's not out of the realm that they will sell. Oh, no. It, it, it will sell. Like, yeah. They, they massively underestimated how popular that that was going to be. <laughs> I, like, yeah, it just well, blows, it blows my mind how stupid they are sometimes. Really, the night yeah, this being is, popular. Oh my god, who would have thought? Yeah. Night oh, being popular god. and like Dark Eldar not being able to buy Mandrakes for since they've been fifteen. Yeah, fifteen years. Well, I mean, they had them before, like um, in Fine yeah, but they were. And, yeah, I was just gonna they, say Fine Cast. <laughs> yeah, but they they existed, but then they just stopped producing them like anything that was fine cast that was dark eldar uh just ceased to exist overnight like i want to say like seven years ago six years ago yeah so, like there's so many things like stuff, these packs want... and yeah okay. like oh. <laughs> and then but they still keep it in the book or the index like oh, which so is okay, bizarre just... it's it's so bizarre that they do that for one faction and then you know take away things from others Jump yeah, pack. like an it's entire like age of six bike libbies, Yeah. Oh well, geez, that's that's insane. But, yeah. <laughs> Nothing safe. <laughs> so I don't. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, the previous kill teams. I'm sure they're like, oh, these don't sell all that great. Like, who's buying? Okay, prior to tenth edition, who's buying Navy breachers? Who wants that? Or who wants Crute Far Stalkers? I don't know. Like the one Tau player that wants to play Crute all the time. Like, sure. Now, <laughs> now it's a completely different story. Now it's like, where can I get all these different things? Like, where can I get the Space Marine Scouts? Where can I get the the Scorpions? Where can I get uh, whatever? Right, the new Night Lords. What a tragedy. Yeah. Hopefully, it's uh, not box lock for too long. Well, the I mean, the other ones didn't stay box locks for too long. That's why, like, I, I I ordered it, and I'm like, if I don't get it, I don't really care. Yeah. It's also, like, a, a down-the-road project, which I've been really trying to, you know, curb buying things like that. I I'm know. just buying, like, what do I need right now? What do I want for this exact list? What do I and want it's for really this helped. tournament? Yeah, well, it's really helped. Like, I mean, my pile of shame is at an all-time low, so. <laughs> well, well that's, a, that's worth uh, something. That's not a dig at you, Mr. Melon. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to try my best, okay? That's New Year's resolution from, like, five yeah. years ago. Okay, we've got this on recording now, right? So next week... I'm doing my best, buy okay? Full, <laughs> when buys a full orc, orc army... Listen, I haven't bought nothing. I haven't bought nothing for Orcs. Listen, if the price is right, you're losing money if you don't buy it, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> think of the works. savings. Yeah. yeah. Think, think of you gotta it. spend money to save money? Is that is that how that goes? Yeah. Yeah. I do my best. Look, I'm I'm repainting all these Votan guys. I'm super pumped about it. I've, I've got a yellow scheme envisioned in my brain. I'm ready to go. Hey, I painted these things in eight days before we went away. Like, I can in do that. secret, in secret shame. In because secret, of, in secret, yeah. in secret shame. shame. <laughs> you didn't want anyone to know. 
about your I can never be happy can I (laughs) upcoming trends trends (laughs) crash I okay when I bought them I knew that was gonna happen I knew I I knew I knew they could have nerfed it even further and I knew I'd still get chirped I knew it it was like it preordained I just felt it in my bones I'm like man I like the little guys. They're cool. I like dwarfs in fantasy. They're super fun. I play then dwarfs they in like stay in fantasy where they belong. <laughs> and then yeah, like just immediately like, oh wow, you um, tabled your opponent on turn two. That's lovely. <laughs> You're a meta whore. We yeah, all know. It. All I was missing was uh... it's a good example of the price being right because that was a case for that one too. If I recall correctly, look, sometimes was, opportunities yeah. come to you, and you're like, "Well, well, it's kind of cool," and and I have yeah. always liked it. You start making those uh, kind of justifications. Yeah, because I went on, uh, I went on like Facebook Market kind of stuff and saw like somebody bought into it before it even launched, and then I guess the nerfs hit, and then yeah, then the unprecedented. Yeah, they put all of it up for dirt cheap, so I'm like, oh. I'm sure these will be fine later, but turns out they were still quite strong, and um, it worked to our Gotta advantage. Ride that However, way. you didn't find it that difficult to beat them because they have a glaring weakness, which is they're slow as balls. I found it difficult. I barely beat Oh, my them. God. Oh, my Terminator unit died, but Abaddon ran through his whole army, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this guy. <laughs> oh, uh, shooting phase, activate. Goodbye, 30% of your army. <laughs> um, yeah. and now, that was only two of my models, so <laughs> oh my let me God. shoot everything else. Clearly misremembering, clearly. There, there was a uh, a period of like unfamiliarity, right, whenever a new army. Yeah, yeah. You were the f- uh, you're actually still the only one in our playgroup with a Botan army, and... It's, it's yeah. always going to be like a little bit of a learning curve when a new army... With I, I find that everybody gives me crap, like, because I, I don't find myself very... Like, because you deserve it. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't find myself to be, um, like, s- skilled. I just have, like, things that nobody plays against. Like, when I brought GSC, nobody knows how to play against dirt bikes with dynamite. Like, it's just <laughs> a new concept. Like, uh, when I brought Grey Knights, no one played Grey Knights. It's just a new concept. When I bring, well, I mean, now people play Tyranids, but when I did play Tyranids, it was like no one played Tyranids in our group. So it's like, it's just new concepts every time. And because I have, yes, hobby... play, play Marines like everybody else. Okay. No, that's stupid. And you know it. Mm. Just we're an all Marine meta. <laughs> we kind of are. That's why I stay away from it. Yeah, I hear you. It's like a slice I, of life, man. You don't. We're doing you a service by playing these Xenos factions nobody likes, you know? Yeah, except for Eldar. I'm sure nobody wants me to play Eldar. No. I, actually, is, now yeah. now I'm sure it's fine. I yeah. feel like now it's perfectly fine. No, they would probably give you the... They'd be the same runaround. No. <laughs> they, they still... Well, I mean, they're still good. They just won Alpine Cup, I believe. Yeah, oh, sure did they? I'm sure. But that guy's a monster. That Liam, Liam guy. Oh my goodness, he's so good. Yeah. Liam, his name's like Liam VSL or whatever. He won London GT with uh, CSM. Just oh, like, okay. And any army that he brings is going to, he could bring, you know, flaming dog poop and do well with it. So. Not flaming dog poop. Mm-hmm. My only weakness. <laughs> I just love that quote. Sorry, I can't help myself. No, Sometimes I... the memes are too strong. It's from Harold. I get Omar. it. I went to the old. Uh, I went to J and J's today. Oh, did you find did anything? You scoop up anything? Uh, unfortunately, no. I was interested in the uh, Blood Angels Compact Patrol um, because it's got an impulsor that I could turn into another gladiator, and or meta chaser, and or. Uh, <laughs> chaser power. And then it had um, the three Flamestorm Aggressors, which I, I've got the Bolt ones. I wouldn't mind some Flame ones. And... The old, um, easy Fit one? Probably. Uh, and, the, the, like, it had... Uh, base, oh, and it had Infiltrators. Well, or 
they might have been um, the plus one to hit ones, but same thing. Whereas I wouldn't mind another. The only thing in it that I didn't need was like the primary psyker. Oh yeah, I've already got a couple of those. Um. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be. Uh, well, actually, you uh... want to scoop those up because they're probably uh, going to get changed because. Uh, they're going to get changed and go up in price. Yeah, they are going to get changed and go up in price because they they seem to have this um, this idea that they want to remove vehicles or like big things out of um, start collecting. Yeah, they, I guess they didn't put any in the the new chaos ones. Eh? Uh, no, and they didn't put any in the upcoming orc or custody. Well, custodians don't have one. No, orcs got a stomp up, bro. That that's, that's a, a that's a battle force. Those are like 300 and some odd Canadian dollar it is. No, the the new combat patrol for orcs uh, is um, two units of beast snaggas, the beast snagga boss, and the, the hog boys. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, so um, it seems like they want to like go that route instead because a lot of the other um, start collectings don't have a, uh, a vehicle anymore. So if you see it, if you see one that has a vehicle and it's well, right. it's right. Every single year, the price goes up, and the value goes down. Mm, yeah, that's why trying to just complete one army and not move on to the next. <laughs> just print one, dude. You have a printer. Just print a. I, I I probably will print an army. Uh, what that is, I don't know, because uh, you and I have spoken before that. There's plenty of really cool looking Xenos printed armies on on the other webs. Like I would I would totally 3D print a tower army. Like no way of saying their butts. That'd be a good choice to do it because you don't have all the little brit brittle bits and stuff. Yeah. And there's like some really cool designs on uh, the 3D printing space. Um, oh yeah, there's a couple of Eldar. Did you have the tower uh, army, or did you sell it? Uh, I did sell that. Now that wasn't that. That was like an awkward thing because it, it wasn't even mine. Like uh, a buddy of mine had had kids. Uh, right, he, right, 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 right. Yeah, he didn't really want to look, so I gave him some money. I just treated it like a, you know, like a. Was it like a baby shower gift kind of thing? You and gave him money. real money. I did give him money. Real and, money. And then I got this Tau army that I never really wanted, and then I just ended up getting rid of it. <laughs> now I have these Necrons that uh, my other friend wanted to get into Tyranids, so that's an easy trade. I have so many. But those should be an easy, easy transition because they're so popular right now. Yeah, sell them now before their points go up in a few days. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm going to try and uh, put them up over this week. I'm almost done this to car. Doing my old Judy. Yeah, doing the time clock now. I got the uh, looked at a picture of the. Yeah. Let's give me an idea of how to paint the sand. It's been sitting here like ninety percent done for you know a week or so because I was like, oh, I don't know how to paint that sand, so I just <laughs> left it. <laughs> Leave it empty. I'll leave it empty because their time is up. How about that? No, oh, where were you? Where were you? That's sick, right? It's so cool. You'll say that and people will be struck with fear. Wait, I thought your bases were clear. Why are you putting sand? He's got a time clock, the Judicar. Oh, in the in the uh in the hourglass. I thought you were on like the base. I'm like, what do you mean? You're a clear base boy. Clear base, best base. Mm, okay. That's an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, just because you're mad that 
I have to, every time you want to base somebody, you got to hit me up. Hey, man, can you put me thousands of little rocks? <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm actually grateful that you do it. I just, but I am like, I just have to accept, unfortunately. My, I have uh, to accept the fact that everywhere my Eldar go, there, there's water. <laughs> there's just water in this desert. Oh, yeah. It's just wet, wet elves. Yeah. My, yeah, you you have done nothing to help my dislike of basing. basing. You just added to it. It's like, oh, I I I, I clear based well, a because I like it, and b because I hate basing, and then I still have to base your models. <laughs> yeah, just printing print some bits. May as well be based. <laughs> just relax. Just relax. You're printing some little itty bitty. Yes, settle down over there. Jeez. So this guy much finds a 3D printer press. and he's fucking public enemy number one. <laughs> oh, it's all good. I, I kid. I kid. Number one 3D print boy. Mm, I'm noticing that my. I've been so focused on painting. I'm noticing that the camera footage, like the autofocus, isn't great. Probably has uh -oh. most of the time. It's okay. It is what it is. You know. You know what this is. You know. These are Fix it in post. Uh, just sharpen. Keep keep hitting that sharpen until it just turns to fuck. Sharpen <laughs> in post. <laughs> sharpen those pixels until they're like rocks. Enhance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. I will figure it out for the next one probably. Probably some setting or. I told you to ask somebody smart. You never listen. Dude, you know, yeah, uh, you should ask games. Tavish. He's a he's a computer wizard. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> no. Why is yeah, your nickname Harry? <laughs> That's not true. Is a deep cut meme, man. That's from like, Kingdom Hearts too. <laughs> oh yeah, fucking That's Roxas. Not true. Yeah, probably. Optimus. Oh, yeah, it's one of those uh, dialogues. <laughs> Delivered with such passion that it turns into a new. Oh no, it's Sora, isn't it? Ah, yeah, no, you know what? It's probably Sora. <laughs> ah, who gives a shit? Same guy. Same guy, pretty much. Oh yeah, they are, aren't they? It's like his uh, dream? Something like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something <laughs> stupid like that. Some weird. What a what a series. Yeah, what a what a golden standard of RPGs. I really liked when um, they stopped including Final Fantasy characters in this Square Enix game. <laughs> Did oh my god! And just, just focused on Disney rides. You know, not Disney characters, Disney rides from the amusement <laughs> park. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know, man. It was. I was really on that wave when it was like, you know, happening. Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. Like, oh my god, this game is the best game, you know. Number one. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, this is some good shit. But oh. I don't know. I, I've since uh like to think my opinions have uh, evolved a little bit, you know. They've been sullied is what they've been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I do like uh I don't know. I do like Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh uh, hanging out with him in Kingdom Hearts is pretty dope. That's hilarious. I love it. It's a highlight of the of the game for me. Listen, you guys know how I feel about video game talk, okay? Knock it off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, also, can't talk about Winnie the Pooh, because then this won't be able to be sold to China. Oh, oh that's man. True. That's okay, though. What? Know. Winnie the Pooh got shut down in China? Yeah. I don't know these things. So that's an old fucking joke. No, oh. yeah, that's not a joke. That's it's actuality. It's, it's yeah, it's some real shit. And apparently, the, they can't look at Winnie the Pooh in China because there's a meme that their president or whatever looks like Winnie the Pooh. And so, oh. if you try and Google Winnie the Pooh in China, apparently, you don't see anything. Or Interesting. That doesn't go into much darker. <laughs> and then it's quad oh. jumps. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I learned something. Yeah. Okay. Outside of video game talk, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what else can we go to? Uh, I didn't see anything for custodies, or have they not posted anything yet? I guess they. Why is it? Probably gonna do. Is it? 
Uh, so been, oh, oh, for their coming up together. Yeah, the dude, that's yeah. actually a topic we're talking about on its own. I was kind of like surprised they box locked the Tau Codex for early access, and then it's like, uh, not, let's not release the Tau Codex for everyone else. Let's just go to some other factions. Like that's that's kind of weird to me, man. Yeah. Uh they do that. They did that with orcs last year. They they did. They've done that a few times. But to switch to a different faction before the they want comes out. That's. I feel like that's. Is that new? That feels. No. Weird. No. It's because they want you to buy these FOMO boxes, man. Uh, it's such mm-hmm. evil behavior. It's diabolical. Yeah. <laughs> Completely. That's the right word for it. Diabolical. <laughs> Jokes on them. Nobody cares what codex is. <laughs> not with, not with a certain Wahabadaya kicking around. Yeah. Well, I think people buy the boxes anyways, man. Because they're doing it, right? If it wasn't yeah. working for them, they would have stopped, right? I think people will. Yeah. Uh, it's it's backfired on them a few times. Uh, I feel like it's. I'll uh, tell you this. Like, other than my. Like. Favorite army, which Tyranids. I won't buy another another book. Like why? Like why would I subject myself? A, like especially if your faction is like way late. Like look at last edition. Like how long did World Eaters and Guard have their book for before? Oh yeah, that's a big fuel spot. We switched to ten. Like honestly, did anybody please... ever buy these friggin' books? Even with CSM, I felt ripped off like i didn't even have it for a full year you know and to, okay let's be real with that too you played so much so much of your cast base brains that yeah. you made it worth your time and investment in purchasing a I... book and playing it and learning the ins and outs of it anybody else is not doing that Anybody else is like, ah, I played, you know, once a month, maybe, maybe once well, uh, every month. Funny you said month. that, because I still, like, I didn't want 10th to come, because I feel like I hadn't even tapped the surface of CSM. I felt like I just, you know, thoroughly, thoroughly done Black Legion, and then I, when I was, I was really enjoying the Alpha Legion detachment, and doing that in, like, a completely different way to play, and and then it was over. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wow. Which is sad, yeah. right? Like, especially if you're, like, trying really hard to get into, you know, the, the oh. competitive scene and, like, trying to, like, improve, like, super hard. He was not happy. Yeah. I was not ready. You were I, very upset. I just didn't. I'm like, we don't need 10th. <laughs> Ninth is great. Go away. <laughs> In contrast, I was over there like, yeah, let's flip this table. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Here's, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm, the, we've all... the truth is somewhere in the middle, right? You know, it's like most things. No, the truth is what I make it. Oh, wow. Damn. This guy's so fucking cool. I, uh, movie? I, do, the character? I do wonder how the Age of Sigmar community is going to take it, because they're about to go through... Um, what we typically go through every two editions, right? Like every other edition. Because um, they haven't done that yet. They, they pretty reset, much had... Right? This is their first reset, yeah. So they're getting and their... Big changes. Yeah, well, they're getting their index. Um, so they'll get all their stuff free online or whatever. And then they'll have their growing pains. But... Uh, yeah, it'll be inter- It's an interesting case study to see if uh, that's like as big of a pain in the pain in the dick as what we had to go through. Yeah, I'd be curious if, to know the reaction, right? The reaction, and I want to see like the balance of the the factions, right? Because when we got our index, what was uh, egregious number one faction in index, right? Eldar. Eldar. Ooh, and then after that, what well, like what was the other one that was like kind of egregious? Space Marines? Were they? I, I don't remember. I, I just remember Eldar. Being the narrative like... for the longest time was Eldar. No, and then... Oh, GSC. Oh. It was GSC. Yeah, people figured... Yeah, until yes, you're right. Until they figured out oh, GSC. Yeah, Yeah. so those two factions were, like, just above... Uh, cut above everything else, right? Like, 70, sometimes, like, 
high 70 to 80 percent win rate um and they skewed a fucking meta i would be interested to see if they took their lessons from this and pay more attention to age of sigmar um their units and factions aren't as uh i want to say layered as ours in terms of like i don't know uh amount of units uh like detachment rules are usually a little bit more aggressive in 40k but i mean age of sigmar has their crazy detachment rules too so i i'm just interested to see if the case study uh would show that they learned their lesson and everything would be a little bit more balanced which then you know might bode well for us later oops sorry that's all good. Um, Throwing yeah, things. I would also be curious to know. I mean, there's so I, I I don't keep any sort of pulse on Age of Sigmar. Like what's happening with that? I I only keep tabs on it from the certain podcasts that I listen to, and that's only because I like listening to the hosts. I actually have no like crazy desire to play the game. I just like listening to a few of these guys talk because either they're very informative or they're very funny. Um, but I don't know. I want to see. I, yeah. I want to see what it's like. Um, I I have an Age of Sigmar army, a very small one. So I mean, I'm I've been Listen. chatting with our group to try it. No, 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 I, no, no. If we're going into the fantasy <laughs> world, already. no. If we're going into the fantasy realm, the only thing we're allowed to play is more time. I'm okay with that too. It's just the Sigmar models go to Mordheim as well. They're on circle bases. You like circle bases? My Mordheim's on square, bro. Are purist. they really? Yeah, I'm a purist. Oh my God. <laughs> now, I I would like to do like a fantasy game at some point, just to I don't know. It, it intrigues me. It's Buddy, really don't fucking tempt me. I'll fucking I'll buy into old world. Like you have to just no. say the word, no, and I, I'm all I, over I that. Like, no. buy in. I have I have some flemish demons. I think that could, you know, we can loosey goosey. We'll say they're on squares with our imagination, right? But I fucking I'm all in. I, just fucking say the word. The, the game system. Well, I don't know it well enough to speak confidently, but it's it seems intriguing to me. Just from a mechanical richness point of view. That's all. That's all. I could be wrong. Listen. It could just it's be so good. And green around the other side. But, it's but. so good. It is it is such a beautiful, beautiful game. <laughs> if you go <laughs> what is this description? <laughs> if you if you go, don't come back. We don't want you. Come on, dude. Listen, Deserter. once upon a time. Once upon Deserters. a time. You, you had a dwarf army, did you not? Wow, yeah, it's still there. It's pure. It's nice, nostalgic. Great for more time. No, oh, you don't even play though. You play your three D printed dwarfs and your stupid prospectors. <laughs> you just play the yeah. game to lose and then get loot. <laughs> hey, listen, makes us all winners, okay? <laughs> I uh, yeah, it's a good I, game. I I love Warhammer Fantasy so much that, like, the moment somebody says, yeah, I want to play that, I'm all over. I'm all over you. Tabletop Forge is running, a, like, a monthly uh, Old World RTT. I don't know where the fuck that is. <laughs> it's in Barrie. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. I want to drive all the way out to Barrie. It's oh, way better than where you drive every day for work. I was literally it's, only talking It's the it. same distance. No, it's the right direction. <laughs> oh, yeah, away from the city? Yes. Yeah. Those evil city people. I just um, want a Games Workshop style introduction of how to play. That's all I want. From uh... Yeah, it comes from me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> let's yeah, not... I, I'm, I'm I will saying... do that. I'm not saying let's do this so that we can shift gears to a different game system. I just kind of want to uh, have, have some fun, you know? Like a one-night stand, yeah, dip, you know? You know dip your saying? toes and then maybe love it forever like I do and want to play it forever. <laughs> we'll see. What happens, happens. <laughs> uh, You'll be by your night on army. 
You'll be by yourself on Lonely Island. No, Darren, Darren, uh, Darren's got it. I've, I've been fooled by these clowns before. Don't listen to them. Yeah. Who, who fooled you? Whomst? You, with 30K? Oh, 30K? <laughs> oh, I'll play 30K with you. Oh, cool. How many games do we play? Zero. Yeah, that's right, you son of a bitch. Was it really me, though? Yes, it was you. Brandon, I too. Would, I would, who? Brandon. Brandon. Well, okay, I would like to deflect some of that hate just directly to him. <laughs> <laughs> Darren bought the box set, but we all know he wasn't. Darren bought it to play. add to his like future store. <laughs> uh, that guy was literally everything. We've been slowly chipping away at his his stockpile. I know it's been like resold out for like a fraction of the cost. What a good guy. Yeah, he's a real one. You got any Votan over there? <laughs> it would, nothing would surprise me. No, I know. There was one time I was like, "Hey, man, do you have do you have any Harlequins?" And he's like, "Absolutely, I've got like thirty boxes over here. That if you want to buy one." I'm like, yes, I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was a brief period in time where he was going full. He had a full Al- Eldar. I know. He wanted it for, uh, like, parallel to his Dark Eldar, which I he still d- never oh. seen him play the fucking thing. No. He scooped uh, when the guy was selling his army. I was trying to buy it. Had a deal in place for... Like eighty percent of it, and then Darren scooped the entire thing on me. Oh my god! And now it sits in a closet. Yeah, never to be played. Where it could have been enjoyed. Is uh, I haven't uh, joined a call in a while. Has Biggie Smalls decided to play Dark Elder? Is that why he wants Mandrakes? He's been saying yeah. that for a while. Also, for the that... I love that we're calling him Biggie Smalls now. Let's continue this. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, his that's his stage name. But, <laughs> but yeah, he's mentioned. I don't know. I think he bought a bunch of those piety and sisters boxes or piety and pain. Oh boxes yeah, 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 yeah. For when he started his sisters army in like eighth or whenever that came out, ninth. I don't know. So ask maybe, him if he has any scourges because I have like three boxes that I don't need. Oh, okay, well, well, I'll pass it along. Yeah. yeah. I bought him to convert into swooping hawks, but I I also own. Just metal swooping hawks, so I just continued using those. Yeah, scourges are badass for sure. Yeah. Scourges are badass. Like, um, it's just kind of sucky that they only have uh, a certain amount of wings of each type. Mm. Um, Not enough to do a full squad. Yeah, they always look mixed. Yeah, there's always, like, bat wing ones and bird wing ones. They drive me nuts to play against. So they like, pop out, blast, pop back. Yeah, they're they're potent. Yeah, they're look good. Oh, um, uh, did Bundy play Tau this weekend? That he did, and he got absolutely smashed. Yeah, by the by who? Oh, uh, Christopher's orcs. Oh, how did he take it? Um, I guess he's he's a good guy, so he's got he's yeah. He's he sports. never gets salty on anything. <laughs> yeah, he made a last minute decision to replace a Riptide. A second, oh, it yeah? would be the second Riptide in his list. He replaced it yeah. with three of those gorilla riding crew rampages. Oh, I think they're called. That's a mistake. Uh, yeah, because it's only thirty points more for a Riptide. Yeah, um, I would just yeah. Cut it's the not riptide. a. It was definitely a stress test because well. By by Chris's standards, anyways, it's a fairly competitive list for orcs. Yeah, um, orcs are rough, man. Oh, yeah, Chris yeah. smacked me with those orcs yeah, the other day. What he's doing, right? I didn't mean that. You know, um, I meant that. Yeah, he's damn. Earnestly, uh, he but... he is what we call in the business an orc expert. <laughs> well, I, I think like if you just bring a cohesive list too, there's so much pressure that in like. In my case, I just couldn't, I couldn't move block and blast enough to, to slow him down, and I just got run over. It's just like, you know, turn three and or turn two, and his whole army is in my deployment zone, and I'm like, well, 
That's not Was good. this that uh, that other orc guy or Chris? Chris, but same sort of thing happened with him. Yeah. Uh, and I thought I had, I, I thought I had like, okay, I know how they work and I can, I can do it now. And I still like, it was like the same game. I just got smashed. Now against, against Chris, I did run, um, I was trying Black Spear, which oh, is yeah. significantly, I, I don't, I wouldn't say it's weaker, but it, uh, it's, it, uh, I hadn't run it in a while and it, it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> And you can't take scouts, which is just a massive loss. Like, I use two to three squads of scouts in every game, and I throw them away to move block and score points. Yeah, they're, just, they're just so useful. Scouts could literally come with nothing, and they would still be used. Oh, they're 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 unreal. Yeah. Like, just, like, with the way I like to play, just not... Uh, armies without chaff are so hard for me. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, chaff, chaff is such a important thing to, like, play the game. Because you don't want to let your opponent just waltz in. Like, like, can you imagine just letting, like, a World Eater run at you? <laughs> like, full tilt? Yeah, Actually, like, like, probably a bad idea, you know? Like, having yeah. played World Eaters enough, I don't, like, I don't find them really, really hard because, like, I just block that scout movement and then that generally buys me enough time at least against the players i've played against yeah yeah as long as you just like it, like i feel like world eaters like once you know how they operate they're not as terrible they're still good I and mean, you can't like you got to be careful but i feel like you they have so few models you can play around them a little bit yeah like the few times um i've played against them like realistically i can kill what i look at like i know i know what the priority targets are like i know the eight down are, are the bonkers i know angron is a pain in the ass but like he can be kind of tied down with too many stuff like too many things um yeah like as long as you know what to pick up and like slow down they're they're not the worst thing but not every army is made equal like not everyone yeah, has like a absolutely. Chat to yep. throw away yeah true yeah i played world leaders uh, against world leaders with chaos and with uh space marines yeah i don't think i've lost to them yet but i'm sure the day will come Oh, they Anything they play. Happened. They're the kind of enemy you love to play against because they're. It's like a dumb army in that it's not. <laughs> it's not tricksy, and you love your tricks, right? Ah, uh, yeah, and like especially when I'm playing Vanguard, they have good tools. Like you want to mm-hmm. charge them, I can move and stuff, yeah. and that really messes with all their math. Not my math. <laughs> I do like them though, like I, I well mostly because they're like one of the only armies that has AP. <laughs> it makes me jealous. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. I feel like every army should have something that has the punch to get through it. Well, at least yeah. vehicles, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that. Like that's the that's a line too far, in my opinion. Like. Yeah, like the like the the brutalis dreadnoughts. Are, perfect example it's like oh this melee dreadnought with two big claws ap2 oh yeah in my game yesterday they failed to kill to kill some storm guardians it was pretty amazing <laughs> pretty amazing the best, <laughs> best showing yet for the storm guardians by the way listen you're never going to convince anyone storm guardians are good oh no, I, I wouldn't try <laughs> they're cool that's about it take those storm guardians and oh. shove them yeah, they're not they're not very good, but I like them. I like them. I think they're neat. I think they're neat little guys. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm I'm trying to build a list with, um, Arthkin warriors, which are not a desirable unit. Um, but I don't know. I I just feel like you need something. You need like potent unless those guys in coats from that future kill team are like a forward moving scout kind of unit. Uh, I think they are. I think they infiltrate. I think they will be. In I fucking hope they infiltrate. 
Honestly, like they're, they're stealthy boys. Like, if you wear big <laughs> trench coats like that over your fucking, like, thermo armor, I hope you're fucking stealthy. I'm, I'm quite confident they infiltrate. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, uh, your, if they, your bike's already scout move, right? They do. Now, the, the bikes are really good, and I, I see a lot of people running. They're, they're dropping the Sagittars, or not really um, all the Sagittars. Like, it goes one way or the other. They either run a bunch of Sagittars and then run max unit bikes, like six man bikes, so 18 bikes. But their base is huge. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. And they, they fly, but they don't fly that far. And we all know fly sucks now so like it's not <laughs> it's not like a easy unit to like maneuver anymore like it used to be it used to yeah. be amazing oh they were I, those I, things i, I couldn't I, comprehend like, what they could do man they were crazy i explained to everybody i'm like if you want to beat votan this is back in ninth i'm like kill my bikes ignore the hecaton ignore everything if you kill I, the bikes i can't win I don't know. In, in however many games we played, I don't know if I ever killed the Hecaton Fortress. You killed it once. You killed one. Did I? I have two. Yeah. Because <laughs> remember, Abaddon sat and fought a Hecaton for five turns of a game and he didn't kill it. <laughs> Abaddon, the goddamn despoiler, fought a giant Tonka truck for five turns. And that's why invulnerable saves are bad. <laughs> no, that's not the invulnerable save. Oh, that's the stupid medic uh, dropping the wound. Oh, whatever geez. he did, oh, he's like, "Oh, I do, I do whatever damage, like big hit." I'm like, "All right, I dropped that to zero. And then yeah, you do oh, blank number hit. of damage. And now I'll heal it. It was just yeah, blank. I'll heal it flat four oh, because yeah. of all my little goons. That's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, Jeez. that was bad. But um, uh. Bobo so is still happy is about his nastiness. Oh come on! He was a, he was a bad man. Listen, <laughs> listen. It, it's it's in the terrible times that have passed where we can yeah. enjoy. You know. What did I play prior to them? Didn't I play something pretty garbage? Uh, bikers. Didn't I play like, dynamites. Didn't, right? I, didn't I play like oh, yeah. like old gray knights, like crappy gray knights? Oh, it's probably some Right. I, it's start it's starting to blend to me. Like I'm forgetting what I used to play. I just remember the meme with the dirt bike with a guy. She's oh like, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. it was a dirt bike. She's running all right by <laughs> Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Good times. It was good times. I I I I have very fond memories of that. Uh, There's something about there. playing an army that doesn't take itself seriously and beating an army that takes itself very seriously. Oh yeah, like like when I played uh like Bigler's Death Guard and <laughs> the fucking bikes are just circling a plague burst crawler that he brings at a thousand points, I'm like, Oh yeah <laughs> circling around, we just throw dynamite at it. <laughs> yeah, it's good shit. Yeah, or uh, uh, his, uh, his Blightlord Terminator is getting killed by just a bunch of Muscle Beach dudes. Is um, is Buddy planning? I'm just saying, Buddy, for the purposes of this, yeah. Buddy planning on uh, a theme for that mini wargaming trip? Or no, I I believe it'll be a free play kind of situation. Yeah, just show up and play. So if it happens, I, if it happens, yeah. I'm down for some experimental stuff. If you know what I'm talking about. If you, if you catch my drift, drugs. no, yeah. drugs. no. He's definitely talking about hard drugs. <sighs> look, no. I look, I can neither confirm nor deny. Very I have the no hard comment. Part. I have no comment on such a topic. But yeah, if, if it's something if people are down, I want to uh, try some experimental house rules. If it's a, oh. if it's a free play situation, okay. I'm this over. Is... I'm over your goddamn house rules. Oh, just, Unless you're bringing just... back tank wars, I'm out. How, yeah, how I, about, I don't need you. I don't need you anymore. I don't need. <laughs> uh, you've served your purpose for the tank battles. It's okay. I, I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> Pretty much, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yo, have you ever heard about these kind of experimental rules over here? These house rules. I got. No, I got don't list of them. don't I'll, talk I'll, about. All oh, the my cool ear. kids are doing it, okay? Yeah, I feel like the cool kids do all the uh, yeah. custom 
uh, unless it's rules. unless it's on the official Games Workshop website. I don't even want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta push up your glasses any harder. Yeah. <laughs> we've got the uh, we've got the Chad House Ruler over here, and then the Virgin GW Sim. Look, if it falls out, falls. All right, nothing we can do. <laughs> But yeah, I'm I'm down to do whatever. I'm just there to. Uh, I, was, I, I wasn't like really pushing. I think uh, I won't have any problems given the spirit of such a such a trip if if it were to happen. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. Because when things are organized, like yeah, there's no time. I'm only bringing. I'm only bringing more time. Oh. <laughs> dude, are you going? That's a real concern. Oh, I don't know. I'll be like uh, I'll probably like, like I can't right now. I can't plan that far out uh the missus is heading to newfie and i can't remember when if it's at the same time then i won't have anyone to look after the dog and stuff so oh yeah that's but i like i don't think like if that weekend's open i don't think i'll have any trouble just like grabbing a room the weekend of kind of thing you know yeah for sure. so, cool, so cool. if i get i will and it wouldn't be a hard sell. Like, she's got lots of friends down there. So, too, it would be pretty easy to just, like, go down for the weekend and double dip kind of thing. Yeah. So, I will probably... The hope is to make an appearance. I just can't, like... I can't hard commit right now. Yeah, you're a busy guy in the summer. You go to the woods and shit, you know? No, nah, that's June. I'll still be at work. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I just know you're a busy, outdoorsy kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. There is there is different things to do besides <laughs> paint. What are you are you about to tell us to touch grass or? Is that where this is going? I saw what the forty k post outside once. I know, I know. <laughs> it was outside. I swear, it was like this bug twisting back and forth on loop. <laughs> He was a blogger for the day. <laughs> it just happens to be the case that natural lighting is the best lighting. What do you want? <laughs> That's true. It's just like easy bounce lighting. Or you should have you should have got some lighting for the eclipse. How was that, by the way? All right. Uh, it's oh. weird that it went all dark and then got light again. <laughs> you know, just at like nighttime. You two wouldn't know. <laughs> it's like nighttime. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know down in your basement. It was Listen, cloudy as hell where yeah, we were. It was, just, it, 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 was uh, it was overcast when we went out, and then uh, uh, yeah, it just cleared up right when the eclipse started happening. So. Well, I don't want to look at the eclipse without special protection. Yeah, we, because don't you like go crazy or something? Don't you like? Oh, uh, did you see? Like, I saw all kinds of people. <laughs> I saw all kinds of people I knew posting, and they're wearing like those cardboard come in a cereal box 3D glasses, and like, oh, yep, oh, you're going blind. The red and blue lens ones. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you got scammed. They're a little different. You got scammed. <laughs> um, we yeah. we did pick up some fancy glasses from Amazon. And... Did they come from a cereal box? Oh, Amazon. Well, and, uh, it's kind of like the cereal box of. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, no, they're, they're plastic, so they're nice. Um, yeah, other than that, it was it was neat. I mean, I I won't ever see see it in person again for another 120 years. So. I feel like I saw one when I was in elementary school. <laughs> 120 <laughs> years ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Grandpa. You show me some respect. Yeah. Put some stank on it. Right. I'm going to wrap up here in probably like, I don't know, five or ten kind of thing. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. This is good. That was good. Good vibe, good hustle. I got some, uh, it's not a lot of progress to be honest. I was literally just painting mostly the black parts on these scorpions. Uh, I got almost That's pretty good for you, time. coming from the guy who used to wet blend salmon for days. What you doing there? Oh, just licking my brush and wet blending. 
Yeah, just a just a quick lick. <laughs> oh, just we'll you a... wait for the other members of the Phoenix Force, bro. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be wet blending some Phoenix Lords. One hundred percent. I was like, uh, hey, you know, we could do that in thirty seconds with an airbrush. No, no, I have to do it the hard way. What I'm an purist. artist. Uh, oh, look, I'm an artist. It's about uh, the end result, okay? Just yeah, I didn't go know. to art school for 10 years to use an airbrush. <laughs> 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 yeah, you went to airbrush school, right? I <laughs> know. <laughs> uh, the airbrush is it's a valuable it's a tool. tool. It's a valuable yeah. tool. I won't discount it. It has its purposes and its strengths, but if you're panel shading, it's, you, you need. I feel like you're just better off with a brush, personally. And what did you use for your elder vehicles? Um, well, that wasn't... So, like, my panel shading, I mean, the way my Salamander's vehicles look, where each face, right? For the elder vehicles, I did use an airbrush, um, but they don't have the hard edges that... Yeah, and I, and I wasn't going to come into panel know. shading another, another <laughs> army's vehicles. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's two-faced to me. Wow. Um, it's called, a, it's called a trying out... <laughs> New stuff on new armies, all right? That's all it is. Yeah. Why Why do the same thing over and over and over again? You know? Yeah, the sal the salamanders have, like, a nice traditional style to them. And the Eldar, just lazy. Just lazy. <laughs> just lazy. <laughs> well, or, like, if you ask me, like, the salamanders, you know, successors regardless, right? It's about, like, an artisanal approach, right? It's like the yeah. approach matches the... Uh, the style of, of the method being used. Yeah. Um, but the Eldar, it's like very precise, right? Like machine precise. Yeah, we're Did a dying race. Anybody race. believe uh, this guy? <laughs> I think it's, I think there's a purity to... I think all the paint he licked off his brush went to his brain. <laughs> were they um, I'll have you know I clean my brush before I lick it. Oh, okay. Oh, what a coward. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just lick the paint off your brush to clean. Hell yeah, man! Back in my day, that's how we cleaned our brushes. Yeah, you have like a spit tube. A little you bit. just spit all the paint out. Yeah, kids these days. Damn, why are my teeth going a different color? <laughs> Blue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How's that? Uh, your uh, your your salamanders are very very nice. They're very pretty painted, and it's oh, a shame thanks. that they don't get the love like your piece of shit fucking tyranids do. Oh, dude, yeah, I don't know. People like my tyranids. Like you just you just got lightning in a bottle with that fucking random paint scheme. Everybody loves it. Yeah, I should Honestly, probably do more of that. It's pro it probably makes more sense to do that. No one likes looking at Eldar posts. The data is in, guys. No one, no one fucking cares about Eldar at all, especially like. Well, Beale you picked Hanover. a bad time too. Yeah. Like everyone's just got Eldar PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should, uh, you should come to the bash with me next year, just for. Just to get some know. free fucking uh, loot. <laughs> just to uh, join the army on parade, man. Uh, I, I mean, I'm done. And it's a when good you, vibe. Like, when you told really me you won best painted out of the team tournament, I'm just like, well, fucking duh, right? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not, there were some good contenders, though. Like, I'll be there honest. There was. I, I don't think it was guaranteed at all. No, that Tyranid army was good. Um, and yeah. there was, um, what was the other one that was good? The Tau army was really nice, man. Yeah. Really nice. Some good kit bashes in there, too. Well... Not good enough, right? Sucks oh, to be that idiot. A little bit. I guess so. Guess so. I guess so. Uh, but yeah, no, like, you, you put so much work into all your painting that it's... It's it's motivating for at least me to Wait. happen to repaint my entire Votan army to do better. You could have just started and uh, painted something else that you hadn't painted no. better. No. no, you don't understand. Don't let this Sometimes bad man. You gotta, let's you gotta repaint. He it. pressured me into repainting one army, and, and I'll never and let him do it. Yo, he, wait a yeah. sec. He pre he pressured me into repainting my army too. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I've done it to a lot of people. I just have this effect on people. They just want to paint. I had better. this. I can't help fully it. painted army, and he's like, "Well, you know." <laughs> <You're> not... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, that's that's not exactly how it goes down. All right. It's a bit more subtle than that. 
I we, we just get to talking, and then people come to their own conclusions. Oh no, you would definitely do it in your like non-confrontational. Way. I'm not telling you what to do, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> your new scheme is way better. Well, than if that it dog is, shit one you if used it is, to have. it is. I mean, I'm do you really want to? You really want to bring that army just... that doesn't match? Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. Loser. <laughs> yeah, think of the think of the theme. Think of the children. Yeah, just kind of paint it, paint yeah. it the way I want it. Like if this helps you feel better about repainting an army, I think it's like a badge of honor. You know, it's like look at these guys, so dedicated to their hobby. They it was so nice. I painted it twice. Literally, <laughs> man. Yeah. Okay. We need to. Yeah. That's that's got to be like a what the forty k hashtag. So nice. Painted twice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's fucking good. <laughs> that's fucking good. That's like a on your on your your Patreon Discord. That's like a badge you earn. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh fuck! Oh boy. What status did you sub to? So nice, I painted it twice. <laughs> oh yeah, me too, but I didn't want to. <laughs> Got me it was already done, fully detailed out. <laughs> but he just convinced me otherwise. He just got away with words, you know? Mm, the, heart, the heart wants what it wants, you know? People come to their own conclusions. You're right, you just have a way of, like, convincing me more to do the thing that is the probably incorrect thing to do, but I want it. Look, well, we should go into politics. Uh, yeah, we you go. could probably convince me that global warming is real. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! No, I know nothing, man. I was just rolling with the, with the punches. That's all. It was, it was too, oh, too funny. No one else gets to chirp you. <laughs> uh, I think our group is pretty well-rounded in terms of the chirps being thrown out there. Pretty Cabbage good. hasn't been chirped once. Oh, it's because yeah. he hasn't said anything. Yeah, I mind my own business. <laughs> Say something, hey, I'll chirp I'm you. just hanging out playing Nintendo. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that's, uh, I gotta, unfortunately, you run, boys. No, that was good. good. I, gotta... we can, I think yeah. this is I'll, a good uh, point. Um, take a I'll photo of in... whatever you did, and then I'll... Yeah, I'm gonna post, uh, I'll post an almost done picture of my Judy, and then I was working on a couple hell blasters here. So. Nice, yeah, and I'll yeah, add it... I'll throw it in post. Oh, and I'll, right, well. I'll do the workshop thing. Or the thing. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. Catch you guys later. Right on, dudes. Later. Good hustle.